I want to go to McDonald's, Mom. Let's go to McDonald's. No, we're not going to McDonald's, Becky. I'm hungry. Lazy, relax. Practice gentle parenting. Becky, sweetie, do you want mommy to come there and give you a massage while you yell at mommy and you hit mommy? Oh my god, sweetie, sweetie, not the cat. Put the cat down. I'm not scared of the cat biting you. I'm scared of you biting the cat. <laughs> oh my god, the cat bit me. The cat bit you? <gasps> yeah, it did. Good. <laughs> Gentle parenting, crazy. Gentle parenting. <sighs> Becky, not the plate. Put the plate down. I'll be back. <laughs> what the? What is the? Ma, ma. <laughs> Surprise, sweetie! No one said I couldn't use tanks in gentle parenting. Mommy, no! Gentle parenting. Oh, wait, before we get into that, one of you poor mother used my email to sign up for their electricity bill so I could pay their bill. Ho hold on, Rafael. Who the fuck is Rafael? Which one of you poor people signed me up to pay for your electricity bill? And how much? 65 euros? That's like 70 something dollars? <laughs> You know what the craziest part is that every month I know how much Raphael is spending. I think there was a month like back in December. This motherfucker spent like a hundred euros in electricity bill. Raphael, reveal yourself. Let me see real quick. Ciao. Oh, you're Italian? See. Si. Doesn't matter. So the millennials of TikTok are trying to raise their kids different because of all the trauma that we have from our parents beating us up. So they're trying gentle parenting and it doesn't look like it's working out for them. Theo, can you help her pick those up, please? I mean, he's helping her. Oh, he is helping please her. Stop knocking them down, please. So it is working. Theo. Stop. Stop. He's not even doing anything. Like, why does she keep saying stop when he's not even touching her? Theo, the baby's not that dizzy. Oh, the doll. Is that the reason why she's saying stop? Stop. Abby, he can play with the baby because you're playing with the castles. What is going on? Maybe no, don't hit him, please. That's not nice. Theo, please don't stand on her bucket. Don't pinch him. I don't think this is working now. I guess at some point I should stop this. Yeah, I think you should stop it now. Okay, now they're just gonna fight. I think you should interfere. Theo, let go. It's not yours. Let go, please. Theo, let go. It's not working. Three, two. What happens at one? A better choice, please. You're not being very kind. What happens at one? You're just gonna give him a treat? I don't think this is working, though. So far, she's like, Theo, please, sweetie. Oh. Stop! If I count to three and you haven't stopped, I will only give you four treats tonight instead of five. <laughs> Scary shit. Oh. Theo, make a good choice, please. Theo, this is definitely working. Also not a good choice. I don't think Theo gives a fuck. Theodore, get out of the bucket! <laughs> well, that worked out. You could have saved us two minutes if you just yelled at Theo to begin with. Gentle parenting doesn't mean that you have to whisper to your kids and like threaten to take their treats away. It took one yell, one yell for him to stop immediately. Theodore, sweetie, pardon my language, but please stop. I'm so sorry. I have to tell you to stop, but like, sweetie, could you please stop it for mommy? Like mommy's begging you right now. Please stop. No. First of all, who the hell goes on TikTok for parenting tips? Out of all the social medias that you can go to, like even... Even Facebook? You decide to go on TikTok for parenting tips? I'm sorry, but that child is already doomed if you're looking up parenting tips on TikTok. Gentle parenting, this is me trying to gentle parent my two and a half year old. She bit her three week old sister? I'm gonna play it off and I'm Oh, she bit her. That's it? This is the parenting, the gentle parenting? Yeah, that is not kind, is it? Because that hurts. If I bite your foot, it would really hurt, wouldn't it? That's not kind. You wouldn't like it. 
like it if she bit you, would you? No. You need a cuddle to calm down. Kind, Wait, did she just offer her daughter a cuddle to calm down? Girl, she just bit her sister and you're offering her a reward? Like, sweetie, you shouldn't be biting your sister. Do you want a hug or something? Bitch, if that was me, I'm sorry, but... <gasps> did you just bite your little sister? Yes. Sweet, you can't do that. Do you... <laughs> do you... Do you want to cuddle as a reward? <laughs> Ew, no. See, I wasn't gonna be mad at you for biting your sister, but the fact that you just said no to my cuddle? What the heck? Surely offering her a hug is just like a reward for her doing something naughty and making her think it's okay to do it again? I'm lost? Oh, 100%. After the mom offered her to cuddle, the little girl actually had to rethink her whole life and all the decisions that she had done. She was like, wait, mommy just offered me a hug? Does this mean we can go to McDonald's again and get the new Oreo shake? That's all I have to do to get things done my way? Hold up, let me bite this bitch again. Yeah, mommy, bring me my sister again. There was a teacher on TikTok who actually said that gentle parenting is not the best idea. And she showed one of her cases that happened in her class where she bought cookies for the whole class and one of the students did not like the cookie options and they were whining and complaining and then the mom shows up and apparently she allowed the child's behavior just to make things worse sometimes parents are unknowingly sabotaging their children i love bringing treats to my class so one morning i got up extra early so i could go to the donut shop 20 glazed donuts so i'm passing out the donuts to the kiddos they're all super excited of course i have one little boy and his mom who come in late he sits down and I put a donut on a napkin on his desk in front of him. He took one look at that donut and crossed his arms and said, I hate glazed donuts. I only like chocolate frosted with sprinkles. So I got down, I leveled to him and I said, friend, Miss April had to get up extra early this morning so that she could go get donuts for you guys. And I spent my money. If I woke up early to get donuts for some little spoiled brats, and not only were they not grateful, but the fact that he was demanding donuts like this teacher was shitting out donuts or something. Okay, class, everybody can get a donut. Come get your donut, everyone. Yep, it's free. Miss Katie got them for you guys. I know, you don't have to say thank you, <laughs> but you should. Yeah, everyone should say thank you. If you want a donut, ungrateful brats. Take one donut, everybody. <laughs> uh, Miss Katie, I only like chocolate sprinkled donuts, so your donuts suck. Oh, little Timmy likes chocolate sprinkled donuts? <gasps> well, I don't have them, so uh, starve. And I spent my money to buy you this treat. I don't that think he nice gives a fuck. To do that for you guys. And your reaction does not make me feel good. So calmly, I picked up the donut on the napkin and I walked it back to the donut box. Children do not get to act like that and then still be rewarded. Remember, the mom is still in the classroom. She walks over to the donut box and gets the donut out of the box and brings it back to him and sets it in front of him. And she goes, oh, he's sorry, Miss April. Aren't you, honey? Tell Miss April you're sorry. Which, of course, he didn't. Oh my God. He didn't sleep very well last night. I'm sorry. He's really grumpy. This moment would have been a really good learning opportunity for him. Girl, with inflation, do you know how expensive everything is? You know what? We'll calculate everything right now. Let's go to the cheapest place that sells donuts, Dunkin' Donuts. So let's go to the classic donut and... Uh, not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting hungry looking at all these donuts. Glazed donuts. Let's add 20 and see how much that is. I need 20... 20. 12 is the max I can get? What in the fat phobia is this? Let's cancel Dunkin' Donuts. Why can I only get 12? Damn, Dunkin' Donuts is out here forcing people to be skinny. So only 12 is 13.49. Let's say I have eight more in there, which would be like $22 plus $6 tax, like $28. She said she went to a donut shop. I got up extra early so I could go to the donut shop. Which we all know those are more expensive. So let's add at least... 12 more dollars to that, which sends us to $40. And obviously you know that we live in America and we gotta add that tip in there. So let's just say $45 for donuts. And the kid was ungrateful. The fact that she woke up early to treat those kids and then for your kid to be so ungrateful and then for you to be, uh, he actually woke up late uh, because uh, yum, 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 yum. no one gives a fuck. Hold up. I'm just looking for that fuck to give real quick. Give me a second. Sorry, 
give daddy one second. I know you're trying to poop. I just need to check if there's any fucks left to give down here. No, there's not. POV, mom at the table next to you is gentle parenting. Oh, my eye! Oh, did my child just throw a fork at your face? Uh, yes! Denver. Denver, buddy. Come here, Denver, Colorado. Come here, buddy. Someone get him some help! Oh, an Come here, mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. I can sense this is scary. You're really upset. No buddy, shit. Throw right? a fork in my eye. <laughs> okay, you're not speaking to him in his love language. Denver responds well to words of affirmation and quality time. I can't see. Okay, we don't believe in restricting. Buddy, what do we think about going to say sorry? I just wanted to run yeah. that by you first. You're cool with that? Okay. See, this is where I agree with gentle parenting because at the end of the day, you do have to ask for your child's consent to ask them if they would apologize to the lady that they just stabbed. Oh, my BBL that I ordered from Timu. I don't care if Denver is six, seven, 12, 15, if Denver decides to stab me with a fork because his mom is practicing gentle parenting, I will be gentle murdering Denver. So there's actually a girl on TikTok that teaches people how to do gentle parenting. And you know what? Maybe I'm just judging them. You know, I'm being judgmental. We should not be judging books by their covers to begin with. So wait, so then what are covers for? Isn't the cover there just so we can tell what the book is going to be like? Like it's the whole purpose of the cover is to judge the book. So why are they telling us not to judge the book? But that doesn't make sense. Gentle parenting, we're going to meet our kid where they're at developmentally. For okay. a toddler this age, I'm going to say probably redirection or distraction is going to be your best bet. Or if you want to attempt to correct the behavior, say no with a reason that they can understand. So redirection and distraction. Got it. Okay, so now that we're at the zoo, I want you to have a good time. Mom, the zoo sucks. I don't want to be here. This is fucking annoying. Think, Lizzie. Think. Think, what would a gentle parent do in this situation? Fuck the gentle parenting hoes. Think of that restaurant bill that would go down by half. Leave his ass right here, go! Got it. Sweetie, can you do a spin for mommy real quick? I like doing spinnies, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> mommy, where are you? Trying gentle parenting. Bubby, please stop doing that. Okay. Quit! Get away from it now! That worked. Thank you. <laughs> Try. What did you say at the end? You're welcome? <laughs> Listen, I know this is not gentle parenting, but the yelling does work. As long as they're not hitting the child, yelling at them does seem to do the trick. Like, I'm not a parent, but it feels like that's the best thing to do, you know? Wow, now I get all the parents that yell at their kids. It's annoying, but it's effective. Oh, I'm praying for all the parents out there. Can you, can you do me a favor? Can you pick up your cookie? Can you pick up the cookie? Can you pick up the cookie? May you please pick up the cookie? It's not working. Can you pick up that cookie? Can you please pick up the cookie? It's not working. Can you please pick up the cookie? 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 I don't like gentle parenting. Because if I would have said, now go pick up that goddamn cookie. One time, see? One time. It worked. Oh my god. Yelling always works. I'm sorry, but it does fucking work. Okay, so obviously that was not gentle parenting. You can't just tell them not to do something in a polite way and expect them not to do it. If everything goes their way, are they actually gonna learn when to stop if you're always doing things their way? Well, I'm not even a parent, but sometimes I say some smart shit. Give me the chips. You can't eat chips. Oh my god. Now, if I was the mom and I was practicing gentle parenting, my gentle parenting would be a little different. Oh, you think I'm gonna clean that up? Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. Here you go, sweetie. That was definitely not gentle parenting, but you know what is gentle parenting? You hitting like and subscribe on this video. Just think of me as like your child. And like, would you not want to hit like on your, on your child's video? What am I even saying? I can imagine like...
Oh my god, like a 14 year old watching this video. The 14 year old being like, On your child's video? <laughs> What is this dumbass piece of shit saying? I'm a child myself! You know what, while I got my vacuum here, I might as well clean. Okay, I faked it. The vacuum was not on.